of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka we Shorts, Matt Stein along with Chris Reckless. Was that a better intro? Yeah, but a lot of energy. A lot of energy. So we're gonna be trying a flavor that's exclusive to Japan for Doritos. This is Doritos Hot and Sour Tacos. Ooh, ignite you. That's one of the saying. Let's right ignite. Here. Let's ignite this flavor. Let's ignite. 300% and 300%. <laughs> it smell blocked here. Yeah. Did you have it that smell? Well, that did. smells good. Mm -hmm. Wow, I already got that smell and with that. I always like the Ooh. I always like the texture Ooh. of the Japanese Doritos. Yeah, the Japanese Doritos I agree. Like the Japanese Cheetos, not so much. I see, but I the agree. Doritos are amazing. I love the I love the Cheetos too. Alright, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a very sweet, sweet Dorito. Mm -hmm. Almost like ketchupy without the ketchup. It's so yeah. good. It's just very sweet. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Mmm. I agree with you on the texture though. Mm -hmm. They do have a completely different texture. I can taste the sour on it now. Yeah. I like it. It's not too sour. Mm -hmm. the, cheese, the cheese is just right. Did you see the video of the Young Bucks super kicking a nine year old? Mm -hmm. I saw it from Victor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the Young Bucks are an independent wrestling team that we see at PWG <clears> sometimes. <throat> and they were in the ring with a father and his son. It was a nine year old's uh, birthday. And so the Young Bucks super kicked the father in the face. The kid starts fighting him, and of course they sell for it. The kid hits the ropes, and the Bucks just lay him the f out with a super kick. How great! That that must have been like the nine year old was like, I'd like to get super kicked by the Bucks, and they were they had a connection or whatever. And the kid bumped right. Oh, he yeah, the dad took a sh bump, mm -hmm. but the kid like he sold it like a million bucks. Good stuff. Young Bucks are awesome. Like these are these are amazing. Young Bucks five out of five. Yeah, these are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I I have no complaints. I actually think this is like this is basically besides the cheese Doritos, my favorite mm -hmm. Doritos. I would I say agree. these are a five out of five. Five style. out of five. <laughs> High five. I give them a seal too. I th I think that these are they're perfect. I'm sad that these are not here. No, it's like my my thing about when it comes to Japanese products is like I wish I would just bring them here to the United States. Like something like yeah. this, I think would do well. Well, when I was talking to the. The main distributor of Southern California for Oreos, he was talking about that too, and he said like they'll do test groups, and they just said a lot of times that that we just don't connect with their stuff. You know, I, we try their flavors, and they don't we don't like them. I think that I think these like new flavors will connect in the coastal states, not so much in the midwestern because they're southern. They they don't like change, as we all know. But the coastal states, I think coastal states where a lot of new things come from, and I think a lot of people are willing to try new, and they're going to appreciate it. And I think it's going to sell well. But so would you say this these are better than Donald Trump? Whoa, 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 whoa. Donald Trump is an amazing person. He is the most obnoxious person on the planet. And you know it. His, his tweet to Hillary was the worst thing I've ever heard. But you have to admit, if, if, if he wasn't running for president, like, you know, like, if this was all like a, like a, what a TV you? show. A TV show. I think oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. But this man's trying to become our president of the United States. He's gonna kill us all. <laughs> That's what he wants. This man. I'm gonna tell you right now, you can't do that. I'm sorry, you have to be politically correct in this world. It's because there's a lot of tension in the world and we don't want to be in another war or we don't want to piss off allies. We don't want to lose yeah. people. And that's the thing he's gonna do. He's gonna piss off a lot of people. You can't just say America for America. We America needs friends and allies. If not, I, wish, I wish that we had a Trump-like figure that wasn't a dickhead. Like like a Bernie Sanders, right? Just an example. He, I like him. I think he, I think he's a decent candidate. He's not gonna win, but no. he's a decent candidate. I want someone that's like Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders combined. So it's mm -hmm. like someone with a heart that isn't an asshole, but yeah. still isn't afraid to say like to tell it like it is. Because then that person would win. I guarantee it. At this point, that's what people want. The one thing that upset me about Bernie Sanders is yeah. the way. There's the, a few things I don't agree with him on. But. I agree, but was with the uh, when the black people came up there and said the whole Black Lives Matter took over his speech. You know, yeah. He left them and. I think he should have said something, not to oppose them, but to agree with them, but also make the reference that all lives matter. It's just not a black thing. Yeah. You know, when it comes to cops and all that, all we see is just, you know, black people getting hurt by white cops. Yeah. But there's there's other cops out there. The 1%, by the way, it's not the whole force. 1%. Yeah. They, they do this to everybody. They do this yeah, to a lot of black people, I admit, but they, they do it to a lot it's of just, people. Unfortunately, our, our public in here in the United States, and a lot of people are going to hate me, you're ignorant. Yeah. You don't open to the fact. You like to generalize. It's easier to generalize than to look at each individual's characteristics. Mm -hmm. It's easy for us just to generalize one person and I think of it as the same thing as a whole. If we, if, if Bernie Sanders becomes president, I don't think he has a balls up. I think we'll get, I think he will, I think for America in the inside, I think he will help us, but I think when it comes to international relations, I don't think he has that. All right. I don't think he has international so relations. So I'm going to post this soon. 
since we got on a political rant. Chris, predictions. Who will be our next president of the United States? No doubt, being honest, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, Hillary's guy. I mean, like, I don't like her all that much, but I like her a lot more than Donald Trump. <laughs> the only problem is that a lot of people don't realize Hillary Clinton has actually been in our government for a long, a long time and she influenced him. Let me tell you about she Obamacare. How, she knows how it works. Let's talk about Obamacare. Obamacare was never Obama's idea. This was Hillary Clinton's idea back in the early 90s that never went through. Her husband couldn't even get past it for her. It'd be funny to see if you're really wrong about that. No, no, it, it's been, it, it was Hillary Clare first. Hillary Clare. It was uh, Hillary Care. It was. And then she became Secretary of State. Mm. I think one of the favors that Obama did for Hillary is like created Obamacare, but it's really Hillary Care. Oh my gosh, so good. Uh -huh. I don't even care what you're saying anymore. I still eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I predict she's going to win as well, but hey, there you go. Political rant. Let's see how many people we pissed off on that one. All the Republicans are upset. No, I think you can't be pissed off. I mean, everybody has a right to opinion. All the candidates suck, though. Like, like all the yeah. ones that have a chance to win suck. Let me ask you. Out of everybody that's right, right now not running or running for president, who would be the best president? That's not running? That's not running that, could, uh, if, that you would want to run that I think would be a great president. I don't know. That's the problem. I don't think anybody. <laughs> I would think. Um, I would think like I would Bernie, I'm a big Bernie Sanders fan, but Arnold, also Ralph Nader, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he f up this country just like he did California. <laughs> the only thing he did good for California was bring UFC. Do you really pour that into the cup every time? Yes. <sighs> Why? And you spill. <laughs> you still spill. All right. Reckless eating. Reckless eating.